What is going on everybody? Um, in this video here, I'm going to be taking a look at these Pro-Line Ridgeline bumpers. Um, I recently just purchased these for my TRX-4. Um, these are the wide version on their website and um, most other sites when you're ordering. They sell two different kinds. They sell a narrow and a wide set. Um, I got the wide set. Um, which would work good with the Land Rover body or works good with the Power Wagon body I have. Um, you could go narrow in the front if you wanted, um, but wide I think is going to be your best bet for most bodies on a TRX-4 or any other kind of crawler um, that uses a 313 millimeter now, body. The <clears throat> bumpers come for T-Max, E-Max, or a Revo. Um, they use these little plates here and they slide on to the slots in here and bolt on them. Not sure. I don't think that the uh, Evo or anything uses these little posts that we have here. I think they just use the plates. Um, so with these, these are for the SCX-10. You can see it says it. Uh, right here is probably not going to focus on that, but um, you put these on and you can slide them into your frame rails on your Traxxas TRX-4. Um, the bumpers are just a light duty plastic. Uh, they don't feel like anything crazy. Um, you could definitely uh, do something if you wanted. You could um, add some weight by filling in these gaps or anything like that um, with these braces I'm sure you know you could add a little strength uh, if that was something you needed to do um, they got the chrome hooks with the little red um, screws in there holding them on bolts or whatever I don't know what you call those kind of shackles in, uh, in real life uh, they got some fake lights right here um, which you can take out if you want to put some real ones in there. They've got little screws. You can pop those out. Um, not sure if you can remove this winch fairly or not. Because if you bolt a winch up there, um, you're not going to have that. So this is kind of set up for like if you had a hidden winch type of system. Um, otherwise, you know, how are you going to get your lead down in there I don't know so that'd be something to um, think of if you are in the market for a winch it does have multiple holes to mount whatever you want right here on the bumper other than that you know they're just pretty standard bumpers here's the rear it's got the hooks um, it's got holes in it uh, for the bumper I, I drilled these holes to try to get the stock body to fit but um, didn't fit I just don't think the holes are big enough actually um, the only thing I dislike about the bumper is how these little posts go on. Um, they're pretty solid now. It comes with a bunch of screws. You want to use the fatter coarse thread screws that it comes with. And you got to go through the plate, um, the plate first. If you go through the plate, you can kind of get the thread started on the poles. It's a little hard. Um, they're much more solid, but uh, I'm just kind of afraid as this thing starts taking a smack. I don't know how well they're going to hold. Um, they see, that seems like the weak spot in the bumper, but overall, I think they, um, you know, they're 30 bucks. Um, I think that's a pretty fair price for just, you know, cheap little plastic bumpers. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe if 30, you know, if they are worth exactly 30, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know the pricing in plastics, but, um, you know, I don't mind spending twenty, thirty dollars if something is good. You know, it's for plastics. You know, I try not to spend too much money. Um, sometimes you can really get ripped off. So, um, but overall, I would say I'd give them about maybe like a seven out of ten. Um, you know, there's just not. You know, they they're just kind of a looks thing. They're not metal. They're not gonna do anything great for you. They're just simple, cheap bumpers to change the look of your truck um i think they look pretty cool um they definitely add a, you know a good amount of flair to your vehicle um so that's something to uh keep in mind um if you're just going for looks 
then maybe you know you don't mind spending thirty on just the plastic. Get so. discount uh, codes and get them off of ProLine's website, or you can just get them from like A Main Hobbies or RC Planet, and they'll be a little bit cheaper. So that that is it. The ProLine Ridge Line from Bumper. This is the wide version. They make uh, narrow sets too. So um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.